Hi guys, Mr. Rice here. Uh, and today we're going to complete the gyro turns missions in Cyber Robotics 101 of Coder Z. So let's take a look. All right, so this is Cyber Robotics 101 and we have completed all the missions all the way up to gyro turns. So let's do the gyro turns missions now. Starting with mission one, meet the gyroscopic sensor. Time to get oriented with the gyroscopic sensor. I call it gyro for short, but gyroscopic is the official word. So we'll just call it the gyro sensor, not gyro. It is spelled the same way. Gyros are delicious, but in this case, it's gyro. Oh, we did it. Okay, finally. All right, let's restart the mission here. Meet the gyro sensor. Here's another manual control mission. This time it's for the gyroscopic sensor. So the gyroscopic sensor calculates how many degrees the robot turns from its starting position. Activate the HUD, H-U-D, to bring up the gyro reading. Look at that. Click here to maximize full screen view. Drive through the zigzag on the manual. Hold down the shift for a boost. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so click the manual control button. Now I want you to notice the gyro readings here. Okay, right there. Look at that, it is a boost. Okay, that's too fast though, I'm not very good at steering. So notice how the gyro degrees are turning as I work my way through the mission. When I turn to the left, the degrees go up. So counterclockwise. When I turn to the right, my degrees go back down. That, back to zero. What? It also, the gyro sensor will also give you a degrees per second reading, and that's how fast you are currently turning. So there you go. That's the gyro sensor. So it looks like left turns or counterclockwise turns are positive degrees. Clockwise turns are negative degrees. That's interesting and something to keep in mind. Time-based turns are for newbies. The gyroscopic sensor detects how many degrees the robot turns. Just turn slowly or you might overshoot it. Yeah, that's good advice. The gyro sensor is very finicky. Uh, and sometimes even if you want to turn, let's say 90 degrees, the gyro sensor, you need to set it at like 85. And really it just depends on the robot and the particular mission it seems like. So, introduction to the gyro sensor, activating gyroscopic sensor. This could take a second. Okay, first, let's run the simulation and see how it goes. So it looks like I need to turn to the left 90 degrees and notice it's a little bit off, right? We're trying to follow that white line and you'll notice it got off there. And that's because the turn was too fast. So it's really helpful to do a slower turn. This helps the gyro make a more accurate measurement. Try experimenting with slower speeds until you make that tip top turn. So instead of a 100 power on the gyro turn, let's do a 15 power. Okay. And look at that, that looks much better. I'm way closer to that line, still not perfect. Uh, but let's see if we can successfully complete the mission with that. Yeah, so if I wanted to be even more exact, I could lower that down to 10 or even five. That's pretty slow, but uh, this was good enough. So we're gonna call it good. Turning to the right is just as easy. You just need a different threshold value in the wait until gyro block. Can you figure it out? So now we need to turn to the right. And the last mission we turned to the left. Now we're facing in such a way we need to make the robot turn to the right, 90 degrees. Okay, so we got the 90 degree number here. That's good. Uh, watch what happens when we run this code though. Nothing. Now, why do you think that is? The robot didn't do anything. It didn't turn to the right at all. Uh, well, that's because the current reading says, wait until gyro less than or equal to 90. Currently, the gyro is reading zero. So it's already less than or equal to 90, right? So we need to make sure for a right turn, 
the gyro reading is a negative number. So I'm going to try negative 90. Look at that. Now my robot turns to the right. It looks like it's perfectly lined up. Uh, oh, but we need to make the robot drive forward. So we'll change this drive power block to 100. Okay, let's try the mission one more time. Look at that, I made the right turn and it looks like it's going pretty good down the line. Notice my power on the steering was 15. My robot's tracking on that white line pretty good. So I think we did a good job there. Okay, this is mission three, dry row whichever way. Turn whichever way you choose to head toward the target. It is a little complicated figuring out right turn, left turn, gyro number. So that's a little tricky. What number do we need here? Oh, it looks like I've already solved this mission. <laughs> well, let's restart it and try it again. Now for some other angles, not everything is squared off. You'll find the drive block in the motor category. You'll find the wait for gyro block in the control flow category. Okay, so notice this is not a 90 degree angle anymore. Uh, maybe if you were paying attention, you could see what my uh, previous solution was. So I need the robot to turn to the right, however many degrees this is. Uh, so let's make the robot turn. So only do set steering now. We don't want set duration because we're going to use the gyro. So just do set steering. I want the robot to turn to the right. So I'm gonna say a steering of 100. Make sure to lower your power as well. I'm gonna lower it to 50. So now we can use the gyro sensor for our turn by clicking control flow, wait until gyro. Now this mission is going to be just like the last mission. We're turning to the right, so we need to change the inequality from greater than or equal to to less than or equal to because our right turn gyro needs to be negative 90. But this isn't a 90 degree turn. Uh, it's gonna be a little bigger, but let's try negative 90 and see how far off we are. After we turn to right here, uh, we just need to go forward, so drive. Forward. Okay, let's see how close we are with negative 90. Okay, pretty close, but you can see not quite. So we definitely need to make this number bigger. Let's try negative 120 now. So this will be a 120 degree turn to the right. And look at that, looks like it's a perfect number right there. My robot's tracking really well on the line. Maybe a little bit off towards the end here, but not bad at all. I'd say that's pretty good. So there you go, mission three. Gyro to gyro, similar to the last mission, but now the values are reversed. Oh, look at that. And we definitely have two turns. The robot should face the same angle as it's currently facing, but further down the course. Okay, so first thing my robot needs to, oh, let's go back. So it's gonna need to turn, sorry, it's kinda hard to control this camera. It's gonna need to turn, looks like 120 degrees again to the right until it gets here and then it's gonna turn that way. And it's a parallel line, so it should be the same angle. Okay, so let's start with the first right turn. Click on motor, click on, set steering like so okay lower the power down to 15 and it's a right turn so my steering should be 100. now to make a gyro turn click on control flow until gyro negative 120 oopsies negative 120 because it's to the right and make sure your inequality says less than or equal to. All right, once we do that right turn, we just need to drive forward. Okay, uh, and I don't know for how long. Uh, so let's see how long, right? Because we'll have to do wait for, I'm gonna guess 10,000 seconds, let's try that. So let's test this code and see if that is the right time. They didn't tell me how much time it will take, so we're kind of guessing here. 
So the robot turns to the right. Looks like 120 degrees. Now it should drive forward. It's gonna drive forward for 10 seconds. We'll see if that's the right number. I'm just guessing. Oh, except for I forgot to stop my robot afterwards. <laughs> so it's gonna keep going forward. Okay, we're gonna try that again. Maybe the 10 seconds is good. I don't know, we'll see. So now the robot will stop after 10 seconds, whereas before it was just gonna continue driving forward. Okay, it looks like 10 seconds is perfect. So the 10,000 milliseconds there is the right number. All right, now, once my robot gets to here, it needs to turn to the left. So let's do steering. We'll set the power to 15. And if we're turning to the left, we're gonna set the steering to negative 100. And I think it's going to turn to the left with the gyro sensor like so. And now, so you'll notice on my heads up display, the gyro reading is currently negative 121, which is pretty close to our negative 120 that we said it should do. So that's good. Uh, when we turn back to the left, this number is gonna go back down to zero. So I'm going to keep this number here zero, and I'm gonna keep the sign as greater than. So as soon as my degrees become zero or greater than zero, I can do my next block, which is drive forward. So it's gonna left turn until this reading is zero, and then it's gonna drive forward. Let's see if that works. And I'll pull up the HUD as the code is running. Oops, it was up. Okay, so right now, see my degrees are negative 121. When it makes this left turn, that number should be going back down until it reaches zero, or in this case, one, boom, solving the mission for us. So there's your code for that one. Touch, turn, go. This zigzag only looks complicated. Combine everything you've learned about repeat loops, touch sensors, and gyro sensor to find your way out. So this is a long one, let's try it. Oh my. Okay, we're gonna restart the code there. Let's start fresh. So this is a big code. This is just like the first mission, uh, only you're not allowed to drive the robot. You have to use code. Okay, now it says, you know you'll need a repeat loop, kind of gave you that clue. Uh, and that's pretty clear because it's just a, like forward, backward, forward, backward, or you know what I mean? Like it's just zigzagging through this maze. So let's put a repeat loop in right from the start just so I remember. Okay, my robot is going to drive forward until touch. Forward until touch. When it touches that wall, I want it to turn to the left 90 degrees. So we'll do drive with steering. Fifteen power and a left turn is negative one hundred steering, and we want the robot to stop when the gyro sensor is greater than or equal to ninety. A left turn means the gyro sensor is going to increase, so we want ninety to be positive. Okay. Then once it turns to the left ninety degrees, it's going to drive forward again until touch. Now, let's see if this code works. First of all, I don't want to be lying to you. So drive forward until touch, turn to the left, drive forward until touch. Perfect. Okay, so, so far we're good. Once it gets here, it needs to turn left again. So I'm just going to copy this code. Copy, duplicate that guy. There's a left turn. There's another gyro turn. Now, what degrees do you think I need to put for my gyro here? Currently, the gyro is reading 90. I need to turn 90 more degrees to make this turn. So what number should be here? 180. So now my robot should turn again to this wall. So once it turns 180, drive forward 
until touch. Let's see if, oops, keep that inside the repeat loop. Let's see if this works. Okay, that looks good. Oh, look at that. Another left turn gets me to here. Perfect. Stop the code. So down at the bottom again. Now my robot needs to turn to the right. So let's duplicate the left steering block, change the steering to positive 100, and it needs to do a gyro turn going the opposite way. So I'm turning 90 degrees to the right, which means this number is gonna go down. It's gonna go back down to 90. And make sure you change your symbol, your inequality symbol to less than or equal to. Okay, then we're gonna drive forward until touch. And it's gonna do the same thing here. It's gonna turn to the right. So we'll do it one more time. But now the gyro should be zero because it will turn back down to zero. Okay, let's see if this code works. Oh, and then how many times, do, and then that should repeat. One, so go one, two, three, I think I need to repeat four times. Maybe just three times. I think it's just three times. Okay. Let's see if this code works. I'll zoom out so you can see the whole thing. Okay. There you go. So my robot looks like it's doing good. We had already tested this, so it's good. Now it's doing a right turn, and then it'll do one more right turn, like so. And then go back to the top and do the same thing. Ooh, that's a big code. but it looks like it's working. Now, if you have a smart block, like the until touch smart block, it'll make your code a little shorter. Uh, maybe I should make a right turn with a gyro sensor. That would be smart. Oh, no, nope. I do need to repeat four times. Huh, whoopsies. Well, maybe we can speed up the code a little bit. So it's a repeat of four times, not three times. Let's try doing double speed, see if it still works. Sometimes going double speed screws up my robot. Looks like it's going okay now. It's going really fast though. Notice when you do double speed, it not only speeds up your robot, it speeds up the timer. There we go. So repeat four times was perfect. Okay, turn, turn, turn again. The gyro values accumulate as the robot turns. Oh, man. Okay. Is this mission you need to go around the square? Easy, right? Oh, it looks like the code is almost all written for you. Something's wrong, though. The robot should repeatedly turn at 90 degrees. Unfortunately, it doesn't. So let's see what it does when we run it. So it looks like the robot goes forward until touch, turns left, goes forward, turns left 90 degrees until touch. Oh, now here's our error. It doesn't make the second corner. The first gyro value is 90. The second value should be 90 plus 90. That's what we had to do last time too. So that should be 180. Now, what do you think the third wall should be? What's 180? plus 90, 270. Now our code should work perfectly. So that's the thing, you gotta keep track of your gyro values. I like to click the head up display and then I can open the gyro and see exactly what my gyro number is. And that helps me. So the next one should be 270. There we go, look at that. Didn't know you'd do so much math in robotics, did you? And that's it, nice job. That is the gyro missions. So go ahead, try those for yourself. Good luck uh, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye guys.